Hello everyone, this is Ryan here in Yokohama, Japan today, along with the Ghost Diaries Report, as always. Now, this video is kind of a um, response video to something um, Henry, some of you may know, brought up um, some interesting point and a video response to a video I did on um, people before profit energy policy here in Japan. Now, Henry, I want to thank you very much for agreeing with that policy and uh, saying how wonderful that idea is, which of course I agree with. But you brought up the inter interesting point that it would be difficult to get it to work in Japan due to not having any political parties to kind of back it. And you mentioned the uh, wonderful success that the Greens have had in Germany. Well, I started to look around in that a little bit. And apparently that Japan does have a Green Party. Now, as we all know, Greens internationally are environmentalist-based uh, political parties. Now, the Greens in Japan have been around actually for several years, but only very recently have they been organized into a national party. That exact date when they organized the official national party was actually July 28th, 2012, says so this year, it's very, very recent. The, the name of the party officially goes by Midori no To, which effectively means the Green Party of Japan. Some key members I've been able to find of this party are um, Toshi Nakayama. He's, in, uh, he's a Niigata General Assemblyman, and Nao Su. Guro, I think, I believe here, in the uh, Sagami Ward in uh, Tokyo, in the, that they're a symbol. So, this party has been formed, and like I said, they've been around for several years, and they've had some success getting candidates seated in uh, local assemblies, things like that. But they never had any real national um, candidates seated in the assembly here in Japan. Now, let's look at their platform just a little bit. They uh, seek heavily to uh, create and develop clean energy sources for Japan that involve no nuclear, right? And they also extremely support completely phasing out nuclear power in Japan as soon as possible. They're also uh, wanting to end uh, exporting nuclear fuel and stopping nuclear fuel production, which is something that um, the new energy policy under the current government, the Democratic Party of Japan, is in full support of and is offering exemption to the nuclear phase out. So it appears the new Green Party here wants to take things a step further. Now, in this national election, it keeps getting pushed and pushed on the uh, current government to have. Uh, the Greens plan to have at least 10 candidates for that upcoming national election, which we're not exactly sure when it's going to be called, but it's going to happen sooner or later, so the Greens will have a, uh, at least 10 candidates out in force when that national election finally happens. Now, would the Greens of Japan support going for a energy policy where we don't make profit off energy production? We develop, you know, cooperative corporations, resource sharing across um, different areas of Japan so everyone can have enough energy supply. That's yet to be seen. They haven't really mentioned that. But with, I believe if that ever became on the issue for the platform, it would be very interesting to see them adopt that. So I would encourage them to start leaning towards that type of policy, of course, because it's much more efficient and much more Effective. So, Henry, again, I want to thank you for the video response. Thank you for watching, guys. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. Until next time, this is me, Ryan, here in Yokohama today. Checking out.